Yeah, for a while. I'm going to run now. The problem with this guy, he does not want to run <laughs> uphill. All he wants to do is eat food. So I literally just drug my ass. This is literally where dragging ass comes from. So I can't get this guy to do anything. So I'm going to try again to run. Come on! Hep! 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 Yeah! He did a little bit better coming downhill, but look, <laughs> this is all he wants to do yeah. is whack away at the weeds. I and now, to my house. Yeah, now I gotta go up this hill. Come on, buddy. All right, no more, no more. All right. All right, let's go. Come on. Up. So the uh, the terrain has changed. We're just coming out of a, a really thin gulch area where we actually got going pretty fast. I got to feel what it was like to run down one of these hills with a burrow strapped to my butt. I'll tell you what, there's a couple of times where I really thought I was going to fall on my face. Let's see if we can get him going. Hip, hip! Yeah! Hip, hip! Yeah! Sort of like this, but we were going twice as fast. finished the pack burrow race here in Idaho Springs in a little bit under uh, an hour and 15 minutes. I know what you're thinking, that's really bad. Four <laughs> miles, an hour and 15 minutes? You're absolutely right. The thing is, and this would be my number one tip to anybody that's gonna try this, it doesn't matter how fast you can run. All that matters is if you can motivate your ass, <laughs> which I obviously can't. I could not get him to run up the hills, and it cost me. But I had a great time. I would do this again in a heartbeat just with a little bit more training. Good job.